welcome back. We have another interview today. Uh, interviewed Jazz Bond uh, yesterday, talking about 904 Day and just the student athlete experience. Thanks for coming on, Tim. How you doing? Great. Um, so yeah, just give everyone a little bit of a background about you. You've been successful uh, on you know UNF track and field and cross country. Describe yourself. Uh, my name is Timothy Doyle. I grew up in Orlando, Florida. I went to Freedom High School. Uh, I'm on the cross country and track and field team. I am a junior, so this is my third year now. And uh, I am a history major and I'm minoring in political science. Uh, I, my events are the 1500 and 800 meters. Why running? Why history? Uh, so I actually, I, I actually used to play soccer uh, back in the day. I grew up with soccer and then middle school came around. I started trying, I started uh, trying different things. And I ended up enjoying running a lot. And just with that aerobic development with soccer, I was actually pretty good with running. So I just stuck with it. And by high school, I stopped uh, soccer just to focus on running. And uh, with my, some of my successes, uh, I ended up uh, winning states for the mile my sophomore year. And then I ended up uh, repeating three times. So I won my junior and senior year for the mile. So uh, that definitely helped me, like just with the co collegiate process. and. I landed here at UNF and uh, with history, uh, I came in as a business major, but I found out that I'm not that great at math. So I quickly, quickly changed the history and just uh, growing, uh, just growing up, I always thought history was, history was very uh, interesting for me. And um, so, yeah. Just describe being a student athlete. A lot of people, you know, have other jobs and they have other things going on in their life, but being a student athlete is definitely unique, especially division one. What's it like? It, it, it can be a challenge sometimes, but it does uh, have a lot. I feel like when it comes to being a student athlete, there's a lot of pros rather than cons. Like, yes, like you, you will have, there's a lot of sacrifice that comes with it. There's practice every day. Uh, you have to make sure you're sleeping right, eating right. And just, you know, just having that, that felt like, um, just like that schedule kind of cleared off for me, you know, when like w with a regular student, you know, they got school, they might have a job, but with like student, being a student athlete, you also have those pros such as um, just having a team around you and other like-minded people. And just like being here at UNF, the, um, coming here, I thought that was really important to me is having a great coach and great teammates. And that was one of the things that very, that stood out to me and just having, I knew that, that they also had the academic support as well. So um, just with like those pros, I knew that um, I would be able to handle that student athlete challenge that many people might face is like, they might feel like they don't have enough time to do their homework or they might be stressed out about a certain race coming up or, you know, even like more serious things such as getting injured, you know, and that's a problem that many athletes can face. And I've been blessed where I have, I've never had a major injury and I know that's because of my support system I have, especially just listening to my coach and my teammates. And yeah. What is that support system like? And what are some of the tools that you've used to succeed academically and athletically? So we have um, our student athlete, uh, student athletic uh, services available to us. And, you know, um, I've worked with Ms. Driscoll a lot. Uh, she made sure coming in as a freshman uh, I made, she made sure to, we met like once a week and she went, she would go over our classes and I ended up uh, building a really close relationship to her where I could, you know, if I ever had a problem with the class or I was worried about a test, I would able uh, to text her, just meet up with her and talk to her about that. And it wasn't, you know, it didn't always need to be about uh, just academic stuff. It could also be related to um, something on the track that I was struggling with. Uh, with confidence or something or just you know regular life stuff that I needed someone to go uh, and ask for help and um, I feel like when it comes to just UNF in general like in our support system I have there is it almost feels um, just like it has that home vibe. Yeah that's a great answer and reason uh, and to look holistically when you choose a school for sure. Um, have you had any changes in your learning style or um, class structure with distance learning has it affected you or any other student athletes you know um so i know uh usually uh when it comes to just building my schedule uh for each semester is i usually try to do uh 
like two, like I'll try to do two classes on campus and two online just to build that space and avail availability. So I actually, I do have one class on campus while my other three are online. So moving into distance learning, it wasn't uh, much of a drastic change for me. So I was already equipped with the tools that, you know, our, my academic support system gave me, you know, where, uh, it, where, you know, online might be a little different because it, it's, it's at your own pace and you're not meeting at certain times like you usually would. So just, um, I'm glad that I do have one class on campus because I think having that face-to-face -face is very important where you can ask questions there and, you know, you have more of that interaction. So, I mean, it wasn't such a drastic change for me, but it was, you know, just having those other three online classes, I, you know, I ended up buying a planner. And um, so just using that planner did help a lot and just building my own schedule throughout each week. And yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, Outlook invitations and schedules and digital calendars have become even more important now these days, for sure, making sure things don't get lost in the, um, throughout your day. So do you have any goals for yourself uh, athletically, you know, obviously the rest of your career at UNF, but post UNF and then what, where do you want to be um, with your degree and in your, in your career? Uh, so with uh, track and field, I've always had the dream of uh, becoming pro and I know that's a very lofty goal and not many people are able to be at that level. Like, first of all, like be fast enough or be able to handle that, all that that comes with being a pro. And I knew like just coming in with Coach Pig being available for me, I knew that, you know, his connections and my ability that that goal might be feasible for me. And like every day, you know, it's just being very positive and having a good outlook every day. Because, you know, when it comes to that, having a big goal like that, you know, a lot of people can lose sight and focus. And, um, you know, there's always, I wouldn't say like a backup plan, but just having, because, you know, you can't be pro forever. So you got to have that degree in education that can take you on later in life. And with history, uh, definitely um, I'm looking to uh, get my master's uh, and here at UNF through history and definitely just, you know, have that opportunity, to, you know, my, I'm thinking about uh, being a historian or might even be a professor where, you know, I would love just to teach that next generation about, you know, and have, you know, have that same curiosity I did growing up. Anything else that you want to share to, you know, UNF community and, and anybody that supports athletics at UNF? Uh, just definitely, uh, just thank you for all the support. And it's just, just in spe especially in times like this, where support is um, needed as much. But at the end of the day, like, I felt like, you know, when everything happened, which is with COVID and everything, like, I knew that support system was always going to be there, because it was always like that day one. And, you know, it might, you know, it even feel like, you know, hey, we, that support has been ramped up a little bit because, you know, our academic support, our coaches and trainers, they all know, you know, a lot of athletes would struggle in this situation. Just so, just so having that support system is great here at UNF. All right. Thanks again, Tim. I appreciate you coming on and talking real quick. Stay safe and uh, good luck the rest of the semester and, and hopefully see you on the track uh, and running soon. Thank you for having me on.